Hi folks, I'm Byron Chavis out here on Lake Fork, pre-spawn, getting ready to head into the spring. What I'm gonna go over with you guys is a little bit of buzz bait action. What we have here is a 3 8 ounce buzz bait with a clacker. This is a preference of mine. I personally like the clacker on a buzz bait. Gives a little more erratic sound. Uh, tends to bug the fish a little bit more. It makes a lot of racket, more so than uh, other buzz baits. There are some good features about other buzz baits. You got like a triple blade buzz bait. You got a double blade buzz bait. Triple blade buzz bait, you're gonna get probably a more subtle action, a little more of a blurp sound on that. Uh, you can slow roll them a little bit. I don't like to give them that much time to look at it, so I personally prefer the double blade buzz bait. What we have out here is we have a grass flat, and it's got a little bit of milfoil, some scattered wood in it. Uh, we're heading into springtime. These fish are gonna start moving up on these flats. So I'm just gonna come out here and start fan casting this buzz bait and we'll see if we can pick up any fish. One of the things I like to do is vary my retrieve. And it's real important to have the right reel when you're varying your retrieve. You want something that has a little bit of speed. Today we're using a Pixar. This is a seven one to one. Uh, I would recommend anything in between like a six three to one to a seven one to one. Uh, five four to one is probably a little slow. 8.1 is probably a little bit fast, so having that kind of medium gear ratio is just a good all around gear ratio to be using when you're using a buzz bait. That way you can vary that retrieve, you can get that speed if you need it, but you can also slow it down if you need to slow it down. Another thing I really like to do is I personally like to use braid. When I'm fishing a buzz bait, what that braid's gonna do is on a real long cast, it's gonna give you a more solid hook set, but more importantly, it's gonna help keep that bait on top. So you got different types of lines. Uh, copolymer monofilaments uh, will also work because that line floats. Fluorocarbons, probably not the best choice to be using with these because that has a tendency to sink. And when that line sinks, then your bait's gonna wanna go underneath the surface and it's gonna be harder to keep that bait on top. So I would definitely recommend a braid. Uh, you do gotta be patient on the hook set with a buzz bait. Uh, get a fish that rolls on it. You really gotta wait until you feel that weight before you set that hook. Uh, with that braid, you do have a tendency to maybe pull it away from the fish a little bit, so patience is a key. On a rod setup today, we got a Okuma Serrano. I'm using a heavy action rod, and the reason I'm using a heavy action rod is it's got a fairly moderate, fast tip, uh, so it's got a little slower tip on it, and I, I personally feel that you want a little slower action tip when you're fishing a buzz bait or a spinner bait, or even a crank bait for that matter because what that's gonna do is it's gonna give that fish a chance to grab that bait. So if you do prematurely pull that rod, go to set that hook, it's gonna have a little bit more give and give that fish a little more time to get that bait in its mouth. If you'd like any more information on these tips and tricks, please visit okumafishingusa.com.